Oh, hi, house guests. Welcome. Yes, I'm not Maddie. <laughs> I did make it out of the closet, though. So I'm here to do the updates and spoilers today. I guess I should start off uh, by saying I don't want to hear <laughs> that this isn't how Maddie does it because she's not here. So I'm sorry. It's not going to be as good as Maddie. But there are very few people who can match Maddie. Right? She's really good. So anyway, I guess I will start with the house guests of the day. And that is Mary Hurley. Thank you. And Paul Iams. Thank you so much for the support. If you guys... We couldn't do it without you. If you guys want to be house guests of the day, it's only a dollar for a holla. So check out the Patreon link in the info box below. And yes, I will also be filling in uh, tomorrow. And it's going to... It's probably going to be up about the same time uh, because I'm, I'm going to have to film it a little bit earlier because I have a big day ahead tomorrow. So sorry, guys. Oh, my. <laughs> Guess what? That's a scam likely. Sorry. Declined. All right. Uh, I also want to mention the, um, <laughs> the Super Chats from yesterday. You guys also are amazing and fabulous, and it's a wonderful way to show your support for our channel, and we really appreciate you. So we have Jody Cortez. We have Jefferson Tucker. We have Archan1785. We have Darby C. We have Valerie Miller. We have uh, the T of Texas. We have Dawn MH302. We have Nick Silverstein. We have Sheena123. Oh, we have Fa Q. <laughs> Love it. We have uh, Jefferson Tucker again. So guys, thank you so much. That is amazing and you are so appreciated. Thank you. Now, let's get to the T of BB. Oh boy. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm like inundated with information for you guys. And I'm sure I didn't take as good notes as Maddie does. So, bear with me. Bear with me. Alright, so last time we left off, Xavier is the HOH. So that means Team Kings are safe. That's... Xavier, obviously, Christian, Alyssa, and Sarah Beth. So Brent is the house target. Everybody knows. I'm suspecting even Brent knows. <laughs> I mean, he should, right? That he is the target. Everybody wants him out. Um, and you know what? That's great. That will only take you so far unless the HOH isn't you know, if the HOH is willing to make a big move, great. You're going to get the job done. But if he's not or she is not, you're not going to get anything done. But Xavier is willing to make a big move. Hooray! Finally, someone's willing to make a big move. <laughs> I mean, it's only like the third go-round this uh, season. But in the past, nobody wanted to make any waves, especially this early. All right. Well, Xavier is trying to figure out who he's going to put up next to Brent. What is the story that the diary room may or may not be telling? What is the narrative here? Um, I believe he did come up with this on his own. It's going to be an Itney, <laughs> I think. It's going to be either Whitney or Brittany. But he's got to come up with the, um, the story behind it so that Brent's not going to lose his shit. So they end up in the interim having the wild card competition. And the players were Brittany, Derek, X, and Tiffany. So Tiffany won. Wow. And she did not use the safety. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Everybody except Team Kings is eligible to, to be nominated now because no one else is safe. And apparently, there's a little controversy here, not on the show, but like amongst the players, because Derek X threw it, 
But he not only threw it, he threw it specifically to Tiffany, not to Brittany. So that ruffled some feathers, especially with Brittany and especially with Aza, because Aza really wanted uh, Brittany to win the wild card competition, but she didn't. All right, so Xavier, <laughs> Xavier, has a meeting with everyone one on one before the noms. So he told Derek X that he was thinking about putting up Brent and Brittany, Brent being the target. He, now this is his narrative, he's hoping to fake Brent out and make him think that Brittany is actually the target. Mm, that is a tall order because <laughs> Brittany, Brent, come on. You really got to pull the wool over his eyes for this one. Uh, he He's trying to make Brittany out to be a strong competitor, the starter of the women's alliance or the girls' alliance. Um, everybody seems to be on board with this. Um, that is until he talked to Aza. Aza was definitely not on board. She, first of all, is pissed at Tiffany. Because apparently Tiffany had made some comments about Aza's very emotional. She plays a different game. Um, yeah, it didn't sit well. It didn't sit well. It's some catty situation I feel like going on there. Some game cattiness. Um, Aza is very emotional. That's just the type of person that she is. And it doesn't really, it's not a really good idea to be very emotional, I think, when you're playing Big Brother. So, Tiffany really wants to win. She wants to, to win this game. And she knows a lot about the game. And Aza's just not doing it for her. Well, Aza tells Xavier... That she wants to be the pawn. And Xavier says, no, that is not going to fit my story. Even though Aza is getting very uh, demandy about it. <laughs> but um, no, he wants to put, meaning Xavier wants to put up Brittany. And he's also playing for the bigger picture. He wants the cookout alliance to get to the jury intact he wants to make history and have all six players of his alliance make it to the jury and Aza doesn't care about that she's willing to take the chance she wants to go up on the block she doesn't want to deal with Brittany having another friggin meltdown this week which is nuts by the way because um Brittany I adore you you're cute as a button, but you know what? This is Big Brother. You're playing with the big big boys and girls now. Um, it's not like, oh, I was on the block this week. Now I have, you know, I'm off the hook. This game is cutthroat. This game, it, people are playing for real money. This is not Monopoly money people are playing for. And this is not a, like a game game. This is could change people's lives potentially. So, like, they're not playing to be nice. They're playing to win money. And I don't know how to put this delicately. Um, I would like to take a minute and just address Brittany here. I feel like Brittany, Brittany's at a real disadvantage uh, because of her autism, possibly. She is... I'm not going to diagnose anybody, but I'm assuming <laughs> that's dangerous. I know. I'm assuming that she is pretty high-functioning Asperger's. There's no cure for autism, so even if you've learned how to be more social and, and deal with other people and everything, it's very hard for somebody with autism to pick up on social cues. So I feel like Brittany's at a real disadvantage because she's missing these very subtle, at times, social cues and... She's very loud and abrasive, and that does not sit well, I think, with a lot of the other house guests. And 
I think she also has a hard time lying. I, I have a son with autism and I know that he does not lie <laughs> because he gives zero Fs. So um, I think she's at a real disadvantage and um, I kind of wish somebody would help mentor her a little bit. I don't know if she told anybody in the house that she's been diagnosed as having autism. Um, but it would be nice if somebody would help her out a little bit. But again, it's a cutthroat game. People are playing with real money, not fake money. Why would they help her? But I feel bad. All right. So, um, but I guess Aza is kind of trying to take her under her wing in a way. Uh, you know, she doesn't want Brittany to go through that again. So she's okay with, uh, if the plan fails, Oz is okay with going home. Um, because she's done her best and she played the game and she'll be okay with it. She just doesn't want another week of Brittany. Uh, so then Xavier and Brittany have a talk. And Brittany, even though Xavier told her she's the pawn... Um, don't worry about it. You're safe. Brittany wants Xavier to promise that he's going to use the power of veto on her if he wins it. And he says, no, I can't promise you that because I got to see how this shakes out. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts here. I don't know what's going to happen. So Brittany feels pretty bad about that because, uh, she wants, I feel like she th sees things very, um, rigidly and she just needs to be guaranteed that safety she doesn't like the uncertainty it really bothers her but I mean who does but she just can't let it go so Brittany is talking to Aza and she's freaking out and I don't know why because if the nominations go the way that they should be going she's up against like the worst person in you know public enemy number one Oh, Bowie's coming in. Okay, get in your bed. <laughs> uh, she's going to be gunning for the veto. She's not going to leave it up to X to save her. She's going to win that veto. I feel like she's manifesting it. She's really, you know, she's been doing this the whole game so far, the whole season. Aza can't understand why Xavier has to have this elaborate plan. Why are you making up all these stories? I mean, why don't you just tell Brent, hey, you're going up on the block. <laughs> you're going up on the block. Deal with it. But uh, that didn't happen when Frenchie was put up on the block. He knew he was going up on the block and he knew he was the target. So why are you dancing around Brent? They just threw Frenchie up there. Why, why does Brent get a pass? So, Xavier, it's time to talk to Brent. And Brent says, please, please don't tase me. <laughs> no, he says, you can't put me up on the block as a pawn. Everybody's going to vote me out. I'm not pawn material. I'm a threat in this house. And uh, Xavier says, well, you know what? I'm hoping that you'll win the veto. If you win the veto, you're good. You don't have to worry about it. So Brent says, if you're trying to get rid of a girl, why aren't you putting two girls up on the block? Why don't you put two girls? And Xavier says, uh, Xavier says, no. All right, well, what about um, Derek X instead of me? And Xavier says, no. <laughs> so Brent says, well, if you put me up, my team's going to be pissed. I feel like. <laughs> He's like, my dad is going to be pissed. Why did you... Brent, read the room, Brent. I can't believe Xavier actually tried to, like, convince Brent that he's not the target. Because Brent so clearly does know he's the target. But at times, I feel like Brent almost wants to be like, I'm not the target. But he knows he is the target. It's like... Brittany knows that she's safe against Brent, unless Brent wins the veto. But she's still, like, freaking out about it. So I feel like Brent knows he's the target. 
but he still wants to believe that maybe he's not the target. <laughs> I don't know. But Derek F. and Aza, the feeds the last day were very heavy. Derek F. and Aza. Uh, Derek F. says, you uh, really need to um, stop being so emotional in a way, you know? But this time's okay. Uh, nobody's going to suspect the cookout is a thing because you're pissed at Xavier. You know, you can uh, pretend that you're pissed. But Oz is really pissed at Xavier because she really wanted to go up instead of Brittany. She's not letting it go. She's not letting go um, the fact that uh, the wild card was tossed to Tiffany. She's still very upset about all that. Well, it's time for noms. At 4.43, Big Brother time, the feeds went down. And when they came back, Brett and Brittany... Uh, Brett. Now I feel like Maddie. Brent and Brittany were nominated, as expected. So, Xavier has his post-noms chat with Brittany. And he's comforting her. Uh, he tells her that she did a good job. She played along with the whole scenario. And all she wants is some assurance that uh, if she wins the veto, that Oz is not going to go up in her place. And Xavier tells her, no, I have somebody else in mind, so you don't need to worry about Oz going up. And he still won't um, say that he's going to use the veto on her. I mean, Brittany, if he wins it. All right, so now Xavier has his post-noms chat with Brent. And Xavier tells Brent, I'm not gunning for you. Um, you're not the target. And Brent wanted to know, uh, did you tell anybody this? Um, especially Alyssa, before you did your noms? <laughs> and Xavier says, nope, I didn't tell anybody. All right, so... <laughs> He totally goes into um, my ex-boyfriend territory here. He gives Xavier the take me back pitch. The we had such a good thing together. Um, we could still be working together. We could still have a beautiful thing. I'm on your side. Why don't we work together? It's going to take some work. It's going to take some therapy on both of our parts. But um, who's your replacement going to be in case I win the, vi uh, the veto? Brent wants a woman to go. And Xavier's like, uh, doesn't really give him an answer. But uh, he's still sticking with his narrative that he wants Brittany out because she started the Girls' Alliance. All right. So Brent, after the meeting... He knows 100% that he is the target. But does he? The whole day, I feel like he was waffling back and forth with people. Like, really trying to throw it out there. Throw out that fishing line and trying to reel them back in. Trying to get anybody to slip up and tell him that he's the target. When he already knows it's true. It's like a girlfriend saying, like, tell me that you love me. Tell me that you love me. Just expecting a different answer. He just keeps doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different result. And you know what? That's the uh, definition of insanity. All right. So he tells his team it doesn't make sense. Why would they put, why would Xavier, Xavier put me up? To get rid of a girl. Wouldn't you put two girls up to get rid to guarantee that you're gonna get rid of a girl? Um do you think they know that I know that they know that I'm the target? <laughs> I feel like we're in a Wes Anderson movie, you know, like where they're the little boy scouts on the camping trip. He still thinks he can read Alyssa's lips. He's a champ. He he really He's got a very high opinion of himself, and I think that's part of Brent's downfall. He has such a high opinion of himself that he just can't read the room half the time. 
He's got half the story here. He knows he's the target, but he cannot read his own team even because they want to get rid of him. He can't read it. I guess maybe he just can't fathom that uh, somebody that is forced to work with him would want to get rid of him. He can't get that concept. I mean, he thinks, of course, other people would want to get rid of him, but his own team? No. But they do. All right, so Hannah was in on this conversation, and she said, How shall we proceed? And he said, Just act normal. All right, well, Xavier, Christian, Alyssa, and Sarah, they have a little chat. And they tell Xavier, Brent knows he's the target. <laughs> he can read lips, so no whispering. He can, he can, you know, they don't know that he can't. I guess he said he could. I don't know. I wasn't here for that. So Xavier says, just play dumb. If he asks you anything, just play dumb. Let him do the talking. Let him bring up stuff. You don't bring up any uh, stuff. See what he's asking you and then just act dumb. All right. So Brent and Alyssa have a secret chat. I don't know how I feel about these two. I feel like they both think that they're... I feel like Brent thinks that Alyssa thinks he's great. So, like, she wants to work with him, but Alyssa is just using Brent, obviously. Um, Alyssa says, don't worry, you can win the veto. And even if you don't, you have the votes to stay. So, Alyssa does a pinky swear with him because he's like, well, you better pinky swear. I have your vote. Promise me, you know, that I have your vote. I, is she going to go against her pinky swear or is she going to throw in a hinky vote when it's time to vote if he's still on the block? I don't know. But Alyssa reports back to Xavier after her chat with Brent and says, Brent says that you're pulling a Frenchie. And it makes no sense to Brent why he's the pawn. <laughs> this same thing over and over and over. This whole spoiler is just full of Brent being like, I know I'm the target, but why? Why? So, why aren't you having a girl on the block? Why? I mean, two girls. So Christian and Xavier have a chat when Alyssa goes out of the room. And Christian says, dude, we got to get a girl out next time because... Um, after this, when Brent goes, if the girls wanted to, uh, we're down three guys. They could do something. And my choice to get out next would be Whitney or Brittany. Because, um, Whitney or Brittany. <laughs> so Hannah, Claire, Tiffany, Kai, and Whitney have a chat. And they're all having a nice laugh about the arrogance of Brent. I mean, there's a lot to laugh about here. Brent feels safe, and he, even though he knows he's the target, he feels safe because he's misassuming, you know what happens when you misassume, that Everybody wants to keep him. Well, not everybody, but enough people want to keep him, especially his own team. Uh, and he feels like the only person that's not targeting him is Derek F. That's what he said in the past, I guess. But then how would you say that everybody would vote to keep you if everybody's been targeting you? And the only reason why Derek F. is not targeting him is because he's always asleep. And if he does stay in the house, he's going to be stuck in here with a bunch of effing idiots. <laughs> That's what you want to tell people when you're up on the block. Lump them into the effing idiots category. All right. So Brent, Tiffany, Whitney, Claire, Hannah. Guess what? It's the same old story. Brent says he's the target. He's not an idiot. He knows he's the target. But... Everybody keeps blowing that smoke. 
And they say, oh, we'll keep you. Of course we will. We'll vote to keep you. Don't worry. You got, you don't got the votes. Oh. <laughs> All right. So in the chess room, we got Kai, Brent, Derek X. Guess what? Brent says, I'm the target. <laughs> so keep me. I trust you guys. Um, and then Brent asks Derek X to leave so that he can talk to Kai. And he tells uh, Kai that Alyssa is very upset that Xavier put him on the block. <laughs> is she though? Mm. All right. So did I happen to mention how upset Brittany is that um, she's up on the block? She even says... She shouldn't be upset, but she is. So she tells Derek X. She wants that veto. And later on, again, she's still upset. Can you believe it? She goes into this long tirade about how she's on the block two weeks in a row, and it's really pissing her off, and she's really, you know, fired up. She, oh my God. We've already addressed the Britney situation. I'm not going to revisit that. So it's 8.35 p.m. And we're in the HOH room. And Xavier walks in on Alyssa and Christian making out under a blanket. Uh-oh, hot dog. <laughs> Production must have been popping bottles out there in the... In the um, control room because hasn't the diary room been telling them hey you know clink the glasses like at a wedding we want to make out yeah they made out and Xavier walked in and it was awkward as hell it was almost awkward as this update and spoiler <laughs> so later on in the bathroom Xavier and uh Christian and Alyssa meet up and they're all having a laugh about how weird it is that Xavier's like the dad that walked in on them and now they're in trouble, only they're not. Uh, but it's just kind of weird because it's all on the same team. They're all on the same team. So like Christian and Alyssa were like the brother-sister situation, but they were making out. Ooh, let's not even go there. <laughs> but they were laughing about it. So cool. Derek X and Aza are having a chat about the wild card competition. So we get a little bit more information, kind of. Uh, Aza was pissed that she didn't know that Derek X was going to throw the competition to Tiffany. I guess she wasn't really pissed off that he threw it. He, she just wanted him to throw it to Brittany, not to Tiffany. So Tiffany was afraid that if Brittany won, Xavier would have to put up somebody. No, that's wrong. <laughs> Derek X was throwing it to Tiffany because he was afraid that Brittany won. If Brittany won, Xavier would have to put somebody else from his team up on the block. So Aza still doesn't understand why the elaborate Brent plan? Why is he, uh, why are we walking around eggshells for Brent? Because Brent's going to freak out. He's already freaking out and he knows. <sighs> why? All right. So Tiffany, Kai, and Claire, they're having a chat. And they want to bring Hannah into the group. Um... We find out that Brittany is going to be picking Aza to play in the veto if she gets house guest choice. There's some jury management talk. Uh, the potential bitter jurors to watch out for are going to be Aza, Brittany, and Derek F. Yeah, that sounds about right. So we get something that every live feeder loves. When uh, one of the house guests is alone or, you know, 
with their partner or team and they talk to the cameras and that was uh claire claire was talking to the feedsters she wants brent to go she wants whitney to go she wants to work with hannah she thinks that would be good for her game uh aza and Brittany, they're making a lot of bad moves a lot of bad moves she does not trust Kai. She feels like he's one of the best players in the game. Uh, she also feels like if she goes closer to the end with Tiffany, Tiffany is going to end up beating her. So I don't know how far she's going to want to take Tiffany. Also, she lets us know she's still throwing comps. She's acting goofy on purpose. She's laying low until the time is right, and then she's going to turn it on. All right. So Derek X and Tiffany have some more um, wild card talk. And Tiffany says that Aza is pissed that she didn't throw it. And Derek and Xavier told her to play to win so who is she going to listen to is she going to listen to uh the hoh or is she going to listen to somebody else not the hoh so derek x says that brent is going to be pissed if derek x is playing in the veto comp and derek x wins it because brent is going to expect derek to use the veto on him and he's not. All right. We made it to today, didn't we? Yes, we did. This feels like hours long. So today, Xavier and Kai are talking. And we find out that Aza and Tiffany, mm, still not good. Not good going on there. So Xavier will pick Christian for the veto if he gets house guest choice because Christian's going to leave the noms the same he's going to take the heat for all that and that's cool he's cool with that cool 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 tight 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 so uh once Brent is out of the competition he's going to tell everybody to throw it to Christian so that uh he'll take the heat for it and it'll be cool so from the couch <laughs> Derek F and Brent are counting votes. Um, they are coming up with enough votes potentially for Brent to stay, but wouldn't hurt if you won that veto. But if you didn't, you got the votes to stay. I don't still don't understand how Brent is so clueless. <laughs> I feel like he's clueless like Britney's clueless just for like a different reason what that reason is I don't know because like isn't Brent a flight attendant I mean he deals with a lot of people and emotions and feelings and anger and I'm sure you got to be able to read the room how do you not read the room I don't know but um Aza and Derek F are having some game chat from the bed, the couch bed. <laughs> Is it a bed? I think it's just a couch. Der Derek doesn't know if he should stay on the couch or not, or he, he should actually, like, do something. <laughs> should he manipulate some people in the house to get where he wants, or should he just let everything happen, let everybody else, you know, do his dirty work or do some work? He, he really likes that couch. I have never seen a house guest um, besides maybe Nicole F. And by the way, congratulations on your baby with Victor. I think she just had it uh, either last night or uh, yesterday. Congratulations on Victor Arroyo the <laughs> fourth. But I remember in her second season, she spent a lot of time in bed. But she won. So maybe... Uh, Derek F. will win as well. I don't know. So Aza thinks that Kai, Tiffany, Derek X, and Hannah 
possibly even Whitney have something going on. Like they have some sub alliance going on. You know, there are so many alliances going on in this house right now. I feel like this may be the season of so many alliances. There's just too many, too many alliances. Everybody's got an alliance with pretty much everybody. <sighs> we made it to another feeds down for the veto picks. So we have the three, uh, well, we have the HOH, Xavier, and the two nominees, Britt and Brent, playing in the competition. We also have Whitney, Christian, and Derek F. And I believe that Xavier got house guest choice, and he did choose Christian. So good. His plan is going according to um, what it was. <clears throat> We'll see who pulls out the win on the veto, though. So if Whitney wins the veto, she told Xavier that she's not going to use it, even though Brent is on her team. And she, in fact, is pure evil because she wants to look him in the eye and tell him that she's not going to use it. <laughs> even though Brent thinks she's going to use it. Brittany, obviously, is going to use the veto on herself. Christian's going to keep the noms the same, take the heat. Xavier is going to keep the noms the same. Derek F., uh, is he going to use the veto on Brittany? I don't know. That's a big if. I'm not quite sure about that, but obviously Brent is going to use it on himself. So we got a couple scenarios going on there with the veto. I don't know. I can't wait to see how it plays out, though. So Brent tells Alyssa, after talking to Xavier that Xavier admitted to him that Brent was the target all along. Now, that, I believe, is a lie. Is Brent just trying to fish out some information from Alyssa? Or does he actually... I don't think he actually believes... You know, I don't think... I think he's just making it up. And she was like, oh, what? Why would he tell you that and nobody on his team... And Brent says that he forced him man to man. He forced it out of him man to man. So she's just like, mm, I don't know. So Brittany is already plotting her revenge after her uh, potential HOH win next week. <laughs> Assuming that she stays in the game, which she should, and wins the veto. That's a tall order, Brittany. But her targets are Xavier and Christian for revenge. So Derek F. tells Xavier, Aza is worried <laughs> that she and Derek F. are going to be on the block. They're going to be the next targets after Brittany goes. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's a valid point, right? But you don't have to worry about anybody from the cookout putting you up, really. You just have to worry about the rest of the house. So, um, Brent and Hannah are having a chat. And Brent th thinks that Derek X is going to be the replacement nominee if Brent wins the veto and Xavier has to put somebody up. And they <laughs> he's not... They, <laughs> everybody knows it's going to be Whitney, probably except for Whitney. So they don't want Derek F. to win the veto because, number one, they're not sure if uh, he's going to use it on Brittany or not. And they think that it's going to make him... Uh, he, the power is going to go to his head. If he wins the veto, he's going to make these crazy deals and blah, blah, blah. So they don't want to see him win the power of veto. So Aza and Derek F. are chatting again from the couch bed or just the couch about voting with the house. They don't get it. They want to shake shit up. Derek F. says that if he's on the block, he is going to blow shit up. He's going to take out Tiffany before she takes him out. He might be playing nice, nice now, but um, when it comes down to it, he will take, he'll, I guess, like he'll cut.
cut a bitch if he has to. He didn't say that. I did. <laughs> I don't want him. I don't want you to think that he said that. I, I just said that. So, um, Kai and Tiffany finally make a final two, but they are trying to come out with a name for it. He doesn't want to come up with a name for it. She threw out like a million names, but I don't think as far as I know that they picked a name for it yet, but that's a given that the two of them are going to have a final two. So, uh, Xavier is holding meetings. Uh, like he said, he was going to one-on-one -on -one meetings waiting for the POV to happen. I'm not sure if it's going on right now. Probably is by the time this video goes up because I'm not doing this live. I'm doing this ahead of time. But um, we have a little bit of uh, info from Brittany. Apparently she had a conversation with Christian when they were um, waiting to talk to uh, Xavier. And she told Derek F. and Aza that she told Christian that it, if Xavier wins the veto and uses it on her, she's not coming after him. It's like all will be forgiven. But if he wins the veto and doesn't use it to save her, well, then she's going to be super pissed. She is going to uh, be targeting him, Xavier, and Christian. Those are going to be her two choices to go up on the block. Girl, <laughs> why are you telling Christian... Somebody who's playing in the veto competition and who is buds with Xavier that you're threatening them with get with going after them when you're on the block. You're at their mercy. Why would you do that? See what I mean about she just doesn't get like the social things? I feel bad for her. Why would you do that? But... As of right now, I'm waiting for the feeds to go down. They might have already gone down for the Power of Veto competition. Uh, if you scroll down in the info box, I will post the winner of the POV competition. Um, who do you think is going to win? Let me know in the comments. Or who do you want to see win the POV? Do you want... Uh, to see a big wrench in the works and have Brent stay and see uh, who Xavier is going to put up and who's going to go home? Or do you just want to see Brent gone? Let me know. I'll be back tomorrow. I hope uh, this wasn't too long and boring. I, I tried to do a good job. Really, I did. But um, <laughs> Maddie will be back. On Monday's spoiler, she'll be back tomorrow for the recap at night, but you got me for one more, but tomorrow should be pretty short because uh, I'm going to cut it off pretty early because it's granny day. We got to go take granny out tomorrow. So thanks for watching. If you made it this far, you're a champ and I appreciate you. And until next time, much love.